Welcome back to another episode of the Mentoring Minute on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with Dan Como in this week's Mentoring Minute. But first, let's hear from our podcast sponsors. We want to thank Hometown Ticketing for their support of the Mentoring Minute. Hometown Ticketing is the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. And you can find out more about what Hometown Ticketing can do for you and your program by going to hometownticketing.com and talk to their professionals. Hometown Ticketing, simple and easy online ticketing. We want to thank Wall of Fame by Vital Signs for their support. You know, Wall of Fame is on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They provide a variety of interactive touchscreen video consoles, along with an extensive library of templates to make it easier than ever to recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. For ideas on how to showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Or to learn more and get started with your digital Wall of Fame tribute at your school, call them at 614-981-3589 or email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive for their support. You know, it's becoming harder and harder to fund an athletic department these days, but Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards can generate $10,000 or more every year, while also creating excitement in the gym and the ultimate game day experience for your students. Go to sidelineinteractive.com or call 832-786-0302 to schedule a live web demo and see their tables and boards in action. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com and see exactly what their fantastic products can do for you. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. We also want to thank Final Forms for their support. Final Forms is the industry leader in athletic registration, but you got to know this. Final Forms is more than just registration. Final Forms is a team, it's technology, and it's a service that serves schools with things like compliance, communication, and risk management solutions. Final Forms can help your stakeholders with things like mobile accessibility and reminders for parents about policies, about physicals, and all the forms associated with athletics. Final Forms can also help with team communication, uh, attendance, and even certification management for coaches. And for athletic directors, Final Forms can help with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports. Plus, it does this with secure language translation and ADA compliance. If you want to take the next steps and talk with a team that's walked in your shoes, go to finalforms.com forward slash Jake to find out what Final Forms can do for you. That's finalforms.com forward slash Jake. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Mentoring Minute with Dan Como. Dan is a certified master athletic administrator. He's a longtime athletic director here in Florida, currently retired, but he's still the chair of our FIAAA Mentoring Committee, also involved uh, very much at the national level with the NIAAA's mentoring program. Dan, uh, episode 27, what do you have for us this week? Well, it's the, the uh, end of the year is coming on us quickly. And uh, today I want to talk about something that creeps up on athletic directors um, as the summer comes on. And it's summer schedules throughout your uh, facilities. Uh, everybody wants the gym, the weight room, uh, the wrestling room, the fields, 24 hours a day. And you have to be able to make a schedule uh, that fits for everybody. There are even some schools that have joint usage agreements with the county um, or, or their district. And, you know, the football team gets to use the, and the soccer team gets to use the stadium. But, and then the, the uh, summer programs at the city level or county level, they want to use your gym in the summertime. And that just puts a, an extra uh, damper on, on your schedules for coaches that want to use the gym. 
Um, I want to give some pointers how to help yourself enjoy the summer and not get phone calls about conflicts in the, in the buildings. So after the break, we'll talk about uh, some of the things that I found to be very helpful um, and, and doing things early will help you have a great summer. You know, uh, another great topic, uh, guys, it, it just keeps coming. And uh, another one that there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but uh, I love the way that regardless of the topic, you always approach it from a best practices standpoint. You know, these are things that have been done before and they're proven to work. So appreciate you sharing. We're going to take a quick break for our listeners. Please stay with us. We'll be back in just a minute with more of Dan Como's Mentoring Minute. We want to thank Huddle for their support of the Mentoring Minute and the Educational AD Podcast. Remember at Huddle, we power sports. Over 180,000 teams, including some of the best in the world, use Huddle to help their teams play at the highest level using video and analytics. Huddle is the complete performance platform. They have online tools, mobile and desktop apps, smart cameras like the Huddle Focus. There's always been analytics and a whole lot more. Huddle is also built for every level of play, from club and youth programs all the way through high school and college teams. And even the professional teams use Huddle to help their teams play at the highest level. You're in pretty good company with over 6 million users, including your student athletes, a lot of their parents, and the coaches of the college teams you're trying to get to recruit your kids. If you want to find out more about what Huddle can do for you and your program and how your school can become a Huddle school, go to Huddle.com and talk to their professionals. Remember that Huddle. We power sports. Welcome back, everyone, to the Mentoring Minute with Dan Como. Dan, you were going to share some tips about um, scheduling facilities uh, over the course of the summer. Uh, what are some of those best practices? Well, Dan, I found it if you can have your coaches work together and make their, their own schedule, they have ownership to that schedule. And uh, most of the time you're okay. I, I, I was so fortunate. My basketball, boys and girls basketball coaches worked very well together. Um, volleyball coach worked with them. So it was, it was kind of easy for me, although I did have to step in once in a while um, and facilitate a compromise. Um, and I would suggest that the schedules be made very early, like April at the very latest. By mid-April, your summer schedules should be done. And I would not, not only share that with the coaches, but I would share that with custodial staff and I would share it with administration. So everybody knows what the schedule is for the summer, especially inside the building. Um, our custodials did a deep clean every year and they, they needed the gym for you know days on end just to get it where they wanted it to be. And, and they did a great job, but I had to shut down some of the, the practices during that time. Um, as an athletic director, I would post it that what the practices are on the school website and maybe the local newspaper, post the coaches' email addresses in case the parents need to, to contact them and make very sure that the administration requirement is well known to the parents about the, um, uh, you know, physicals and, and things like that, that that must be done before summer workouts begin. Um, and talk about supervision and transportation. Um, if you, sometimes you might find a facility, uh, say a middle school, that it, they really don't use their gym much. You can see if you can use their gym for maybe volleyball or some basketball programs uh, and, and get keys. And, you know, you have to coordinate with their administration also. But the supervision and transportation policies have to be put in place how do the kids get there? How do they not, how do they, how do they leave uh, parent pickup and that type of thing? But to be honest with you, I, I found that the, the faster you could get the schedule out and the more people you could tell and put it in print, uh, the easier the summer was for you. You didn't get the phone call. Hey, what time is football practice today? It's all scheduled out. Our football program went from um, two in the afternoon till six at at six at night 
uh, with different levels, freshman JV varsity, and uh, the basketball and volleyball programs like to get in there early in the morning so that they can have their day. Uh, it it, it kind of worked out for us, especially the weight room was was tough because because everybody wanted to get in the weight room, but um, those schedules just need to be made early. Everybody has to buy in and uh, adhere to it. Consistency is is the key for your summer workouts. Yeah, you bring up uh, the point of having the coaches involved in that process, and you know rather than you saying you know this is your time and your time, you know they have some input and. You know, you, you have you can avoid having to go back and change things that you might have put into place. Um, having spent most of my career in Florida at private schools, I had bosses that had different philosophies. I had one boss and it, it wasn't right, wrong, good or bad. It was just what it was. Um, we didn't uh, allow hardly anyone in our facilities that wasn't, you know, um, a, a school team. And they looked at it from. Um, a liability standpoint, they looked at it as, you know, if I let this team in or this group, this club, I got to let somebody else in, didn't want to offend parents. Um, and then I had another boss, um, you know, at our school up in Tallahassee, McClay. Um, we had a, a procedure in place to schedule our own teams and community teams and looked at it as a great way to bring families and kids on campus and show them what we have. Uh, and, you know, with, open enrollment these days, at least in Florida, you know, it was a great, you know, free commercial or paid commercial because they're paying for those experiences to come on board. So uh, a lot of different ways to do things. But, you know, to your point, scheduling in advance is the key. For our listeners, um, if uh, or Dan, if one of our listeners wanted to reach out and pick your brain, uh, contact you, uh, what's the best way that they can get in touch? They can get in touch with me uh, through email, dcomeau19 at comcast.net. Okay. And again, for our listeners, uh, all of these episodes of the Mentoring Minute, you can access them on the Education LED Podcast YouTube channel. Uh, we appreciate you coming in and listening today. Come back again next time for another episode of the Mentoring Minute and just about every day for new content on the Education LED Podcast. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Again, we want to thank all of our sponsors for their support of the Mentoring Minute on the Educational AD Podcast. Wall of Fame by Vital Signs, Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack, Final Forms, Athletic Registration, Sideline Interactive, Indoor Scoring Tables and Video Boards, Violet Defense, Ultraviolet Light uh, Facilities, um, Disinfecting, Huddle, and hometown ticketing. Thanks to all of our sponsors for their support of the Mentoring Minute and the Educational AD Podcast.